The Hopkinton High School Muslim Student Association teamed up with the South Asian Circle of Hopkinton to host a celebration of Ramadan. Here's a look at the festivities. Thanks to the Hopkinton High School administration for supporting us, especially our vice principal, Mrs. Tice, who helped us form the association and helped with the setup and background details of this event. And a special thanks to Mr. Willander, our club advisor, who sat to make it, but he always strives to learn more about Islam, encourage us in all that we do. I would like to thank everyone who is attending for their support, especially coming out on a weekday for your first or second day of Ramadan to support the youth. Jazakallah. Lastly, I would like to thank our fellow MSA members. As we hear your name, please come up to the front so you can take a great look. These people include our co-founders, Yassine Silva, our secretary, Wafia Saida, our treasurer, and a special shout out to Ayakuthi, a board member, who set up the prayer room before the MSA was even assembled, and many of our MSA board, including Hamza Haider, Diversity is our unity. When we rise together, we rise in strength. Ramadan is a time for spiritual growth through patience, acts of kindness, and being helpful to all. May this holy month of Ramadan be a happy and blessed month for all of you. Let's enjoy tonight as a way to love, honor, and support one another. Ramadan Mubarak to everybody here tonight. Thank you for having us. And I would be remiss if I did not thank the most incredible Hopkinton High School, the faculty, the leadership for you know doing what you do so well every single time. The first idea is the idea of a belief, much like the founding of this country, when we say that all men are born equal, that's a belief. And then we strive to constantly, constantly improve democracy in order to make sure that that promise translates into reality. The same idea exists in Islam as a starting point. So the starting point is, we begin with the belief that we have a common creator, and that creator is worthy of worship and worthy of belief, and that informs our values and our starting point. How do, they, how do we connect them, is the next question. For that, liturgy is very important to us. That's called salah. Now, liturgy is the mechanism by which we create, we connect to our creator, in order for us to have that bond that we remain through our lifetime, and hopefully after our lifetime as well. The third rubric cultivates within us something that is called our charitable self. For us to be fully human, we need to be charitable. And charitable means that we have to prefer others over ourselves, and we have to give up our selfishness for the good of the common. So we invest in that as our third practice. The fourth one is the one that we are talking about here tonight, which is called fasting. In short, fasting translated from the Islamic word that describes it, which is called Saum or Siyam, if you render that into English, it simply means abstain. So fasting, again, the important idea I started with, is a practice. It's not an idea. Fasting is not a cerebral rationalization of a certain idea. It's modeling practice in a certain way. So what is that way? What is the abstinence here or abstaining from something which is giving up something for a higher purpose? What is that about? Fasting is an encompassing practice that requires us to abstain from many things that would come as 
mundane pleasures in our lives. Be on the lookout for the full presentation airing on HCAM.